do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. So you wanna see how bears compete for food? So first we're going to discuss inter and intra specific competition. Okay, so basically inter specific competition is when species of different kinds compete with against each other. Okay, so different species, okay, here's a cat. Okay, and here's a dog. Put some ears on. Okay, now these are different types of species and they're con uh, competing for the resources in the ecosystem, okay? And intra-specific competition is when species of the same kind compete one another in the ecosystem. So basically, you're going to have if we go continue with this, you're gonna have a bunch of cats. Whiskers. Competing against each other. But since inter and intra specific competition sounds so similar, an easy way to remember this is by Okay, just think like a inter 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 interstate highway. Let's compare it this way. Interstate highway versus intra-state highway. Interstate highway connects different states together. So like Nevada, or California and Nevada, this, the highway is going to um, be between these states, so it's going to connect the two different types of states together. Intra-state highway is when a highway would be like just in California. So highway just in there. So that's the way to remember it. Can I have our cookie? No. What? <laughs> now we're gonna compare interference competition with exploitive competition. So the exploitive competition is kind of the indirect type of competition. And in this, the limited source, um, it controls the situation. So for example, um, there's like a big tree. The big trees um, in the environment, they, they're so big that they kind of form like a little uh, canopy and they block all the sunlight or they absorb all the sunlight and now the little trees which are like um, hidden under the built-in uh, canopy, they can't get the sunlight and um, hence they just die. So basically the bigger trees, they outcompete the little trees and uh, the little trees are not able to survive. And this is kind of indirectly um, the competition. Over here, the interference competition, this is more of a direct competition. And then in here, the species um, directly outcompete the other. So basically, let me give you an example of American bullfrogs. So the American bull bullfrogs will directly compete in the way that. Um, the, they might even eat the smaller, like if this is the big uh, bullfrog, even though that looks like a spider, um, to out -com to compete with the other bigger bullfrog, it will just like may even eat the little one, so the big one can't get food. And this is more of a visual, uh, so you can see how the species directly outcompete the other um, species and for the resources. Resource partitioning is the concept that uh, different species have evolved to share s specific source. So basically, over time, um, obviously, resources uh, tend to run out. And therefore, species have to adapt um, themselves to the change, else they will um, just become extinct. So, example of this would be like if a zebra and 
the wildebeest, if they live together in herds um, in the African uh, bushveld, um, they both tend to, they're both grazers, so basically they feed on different pans, uh, different grass plants, and um, this way they share the grass plants and they also uh, share space. So basically space and uh, food, and this change has um, been able to happen over time as the species tend to evolve. The idea of competitive exclusion is very simple. Basically, it says if that two species with same niche, uh, same niche, if they coexist in the same, if they coexist in same ecosystem, then one will be excluded. because of competition and this is very simple because um, obviously if there's a competition um, there can't be two winners there has to be like one winner in a competition so um, the winner of the competition outcompetes everyone so basically it's just a very simple idea that basically just says that um, if the same, if the same, if the two species, if they compete for like the same resources in the ecosystem, they cannot coexist because obviously one won't be able to get the resources and the other one will. That's it. This is how we do it.